Hello there YouTube, this is Sybils and Bits, and we're back at it again with Inkbound. Today is Thursday, so we're going to be playing Obelisk. And I don't have any anecdotes or anything right now today, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. If anything, we have a checklist, and at the top of the checklist is one item. It says things to do. Don't screw up. We've been making a lot of stupid mistakes this week, and I don't like it. So we got to figure out how to deal with that and the fact that we don't have any easy quests here. What is going to be the easiest thing for us to do? I suppose we could go ahead and put Dazed on a blue on either our 2 or our 3. And we could do that relatively easily. But not, like, reliably? Uh, having it on our 3 is interesting because it'll allow us to Daze, like, up to 8 enemies. And so every time that we get our our seismic slam, we can go ahead and get eight. Could theoretically allow us to do this pretty quickly, especially if we get something like a Thanalope Tuft or anything like that that gives us CDR. Um, I guess I kind of feel okay with that. Uh, otherwise, like Poison Burn, Frostbite Bleed, we could definitely get away with that. Most skills are pretty good for this. Um, yeah, we'd basically just have to draft into this. But we're going to choose to go a little bit spiced, as we always do. And we're going to go ahead with Argoloth and try and get this done. Worst case scenario, we don't get the legendary. And we don't care because we don't need the legendary. We just need to survive um, the Chapter 3 Elite. Or through to the Chapter 3 Elite. And to tell you what, Swift Hair definitely feels good. Alchemist Tool Belt, very powerful. Golden Egg on... I know we definitely got stuffed when we tried this... What was it? Monday? I definitely believe in this on... Obelisk. Because we're able to get better shielding. Easy access to day, stuff like that. We could utilize this. But... Um, We've already determined what our path here is, and Swift Hair is very good for that. Um, do we want one stack of Crush here? It's possible. If we could get Crush, Crush, Days, this would technically be a lot of damage. We could also just swap it around and put it into, like, damage. Which would also be pretty good. Otherwise, um, the common like crit mods don't really feel good unless I have like a crit vestige. So I really don't like taking them, especially on shield bash, which is generally we're always going to want uh, the negative one cooldown, and then possibly the negative one cost as well, so that we can use it two times in a turn. Hardened Iron Clap is always good. We don't mind that at all. Hmm. I'll go ahead and put one in Hardened Iron Clap. Can't go wrong with that. Um, overstimulated, we take a lot of damage. Eh? Final Chapters, we take some damage. Eh? Pacifism? Eh? We're going a base damage CDR style build. Um, could possibly get away with this. We just need to figure out how exactly we're going to deal damage. I could definitely go with this though. Generally speaking, you'd want to take pacifism in like book two because you already don't have like. You either have way too much, or you don't have any power whatsoever, and so you're like, I really don't care about slowly losing five of this. But when you take it in book one, it's a little hard to take, like, the the fonts that are, like, one physical power, one magic power, one ability power. Because your initial thought is that it's going to be gone at the start of the first turn anyways. But we'll give it a try. A fish. It's not a prickly puffer. Good days. Mm. 
Yeah, okay, that seems pretty good. I really don't want to, though. If that makes any sense. Does Magic Pixel exist? There it is. Whoop. There it is. And we're just going to go ahead and... I can hit you guys here. And then we deal 20. So I won't actually be able to get rid of you. So what we're going to do instead is pop you guys here. And then just clack again, I suppose. It's wave two. We go ahead, we do this. This is truly some suffer. Can I get out of both of these? I think so. Oh, I had it. Magic Pixel exists. And I don't know how we're going to avoid this damage. Simply because we didn't have enough damage to kill these guys. Which would have been the reason why we would want plus 15 damage. Instead of um, whatever we took here. Because enemies do end up with 71 a lot on inkbound difficulty. So this 65 really doesn't do anything. Unless you manage to get like an early power. Then that helps out. Um, all of these things are okay. Um, healing is fine. I just think that we're more than most likely to go with frostbite damage. Or we could be a bit cheeky and re-roll here. See if we can't get anything juicy here. I uh, guess we'll take some crit chance. Really should have grabbed this first. If we get something juicy, I'm almost willing to... Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Blink... Give me that Mercurial, and I will spend another Glyph back here. Because that could be something juicy, like Precise. I like Bloodthirst Blend. We'll keep that there. I'm hoping the money pot's here so that I can use this mercurial. Of course not. Why would I think so? Well, then I guess what I'm going to do... Take care of this damage. Can we get... I don't think so. Magic Pixel does not exist. Okay. If I do this, we get close. So let's do that. Power Orb give you the old clap. We got a guy who is fizz resistant. Really don't like that. Let's go ahead, teleport up here, take this. And we're primarily just going to focus on you and hope. Actually, we're going to take four here. But I think we are going to take this Mercurial here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Did I math your health wrong? I must have. All right, that wasn't worth it. What did I tell myself about making mistakes? This is pretty much over at least. Well, I like shielding blink. That's two shielding every turn. If 
if we're going for the days, let's go for the days. We don't need to reduce the cooldown by one, I think. Uh, we could go with a little bit of damage in here. Or we'll just go ahead and increase the range of Iron Clap. I think we could use some Glyph Globes, but let's actually get some items. I forgot my Bloodthirst Blend. What did I tell myself about making mistakes? Okay. I honestly don't know. I'm gonna get this uh, money pot here. I think I got options, but I just don't think that I'm gonna be able to make it. Like if I clap here twice, we're gonna be able to get the crush, which is 90 damage to the pot. If I go ahead and seismic slam, that's 65 to everything days I take less damage. Uh, and obviously does not. Hmm. I'm going to get hit by Ink Drain regardless. Nothing I can do about that. Is this enough to... Is this 25% of your health? Let's say you're at 540. Five 25% for you is 100... Like 43. Which means that if I want to get another payout, I need to do this. Not even that would do it. Okay. There we go. Let's put ourselves up here. Is it not counting our dazes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. kind of a problem. This guy is also kind of a problem. We're pretty much going to be fighting them until the end of time. Yeah, especially with Ink Drain, we're pretty much scuffed. I think we might even be dead here. I don't know how we're going to crack these guys open, especially when the ring closes in and they're getting 20% of their maximum health every single time that they unburrow. I think at this point we've lost. Our only way out is to get so much precise from uh, Blink and then crit somebody while they're up. It might do enough damage to kill them. But that'll only work once. I think we need to take this fish at this point. It might already have been too late. Hmm.
shoot. I'm also sitting here trying to think of where this all went wrong. This will do half your health, which isn't enough. But it's all we got. And now he's going to burrow and just heal again. We are in trouble. I wonder if the right move is honestly just for us to repeatedly blink. Like, even if it costs us. It might also be that the right move is for us to go into here. We're going to take a damage to taken debuff. But at least next turn, we'll be able to come in and finish this guy. Okay, we're out. Gucci. We're doing it, gang. Another blight damage taken. Are we able to, like, get out of here and, like, maybe, like, over here? I think we're going to take the Blighted. I want to be as close as possible, though. Right there. I am unsure that we can afford to take another Blighted. Because now we're taking 10% more damage. I think we just keep clapping here and hope that uh, we eventually prime a crit. Or we just take this guy out the old fashioned way. At least we're uh, farming our quest. There's our crit. <laughs> 150. Ooh, but we're alive. Oh, man. I've never felt so alive. Blink is magic. It's also magical because it saved our lives. But, um... Harmonizing Whistle seems pretty dang good here. Especially if our goal is just to use Seismic Slam as much as possible. I will absolutely take more crit chance. Unfortunately, we are nowhere near the ability for us to complete this quest because we started here. Um, let's get that negative cooldown on Shield Bash. It seems like it's going to be important. Or do we put Shatter on Seismic Slam since we're trying to spam it so much? Shatter, negative one cost. Make it actually usable. Interesting. Um, I was kind of hoping to get negative uh, cooldown on it like once... Maybe twice? Is it exclusive on Seismic Slam? Who knows? But, uh... I don't know if we need Quicken Shield Bash if we have Blink. Because Blink is going to be our pri primary means of moving around. So, maybe it is Shattering Seismic Slam. I 
Incendiary seems good. Cultivate, eh. Like, Cultivate could be useful. Chain Lightning. It's a very good crit skill. It's got uh, the blue crit aug, I believe. So, wouldn't be against that. Can easily become our single target or our AoE. Incendiary is, again, just probably one of the best ones here. Cultivate would be pretty good. Uh, well, I guess Incendiary would be more spammable. We'd be able to just use it because it has a three cost. So we use, say, Iron Clap, Incendiary, Iron Clap, Blink. We can make Incendiary prepared. The other idea is, is that Cultivate has a long cooldown, so we wouldn't be able to, like, technically spam around that much. Unless, of course, we got the negative cooldown on Blink, but then we're using one uh, will just to reduce cooldowns, gain precise, and two shield. I guess that's not terrible. That's kind of funky. I don't know. Maybe we like that. Eh, why not? I think I... I don't think I need to heal, but we should heal. Yo! Health stimulant is pretty good. Especially when we have AoE like we do. I would be able to buy that and... Oh, and Frozen Finger? Hold up. Yeah, I can get both of these and the healing. I could also just get Tiny Hearthstone and call that my healing. We made this mistake last time. Do I honestly think I'm going to take that much damage from... Uh... I could. <laughs> I could honestly take that much damage. Um, we've already done a ton of stupid stuff. Let's let's be a little safe. Because I think with health stimulant, we're going to be okay. Okay, first things first. Broccoli. Second thing second. Why do we not have... <laughs> we have barely not enough damage to actually, like, destroy these men. Um, go ahead. Blink here. Power orb. I guess that's kind of a waste to have blinked there. We did not lose that much health. Is Vigor not working? Or is Vigor counting? Were we at 35? I thought we were at 30. We're going to have to watch that. I think it, we're getting Vigor for um, the wrong stuff. We're going to teleport over here. Power Orb. Crit on through. Or do we teleport again for more damage? Yes. Yes. 
I kind of want to see about this whole vigor deal. But one thing's first, I want to make sure that I'm getting my precision stacks for a juicy crit. Okay, we're fully blocked. Make sure to put down another... Probably need to put a plant right there. Um, okay. So yeah, we're definitely fine. If we can shield and get health off of it, then we have unlimited health now. don't have a crappy crit chance. What's going on here? What is going on? Anyways. We almost need a stack or source of spite. If we could get shell, I think this is a build. want to put everything on cooldown if possible. Stomping absolutely everything. Make sure to clap here, over here. We're doing great. We're gonna take this damage. That's not the button I thought I was using. I want these orbs. And this plant. We're gonna lose some damage of some health here. This is fine. Or at least it's gonna have to be. Okay. We finally have a crit and 11 stacks of precise. Oh my god. No. Please. Um. This is gonna hurt. Alright. 
At least this uh, lava here should be gone? Question mark? No? Okay. We're in a way. This gets close. I think we're going to have to finish you with uh, Dash, though, because you're going to be over here. We're going to have to teleport movement skill. So that's currently the plan. So thank goodness for health stimulant. Okay. That's not quite enough. Oh lordy. Well, nowhere else to go, really. Um, I don't know how to feel about any of that. We were talking about gaining spikes. This is a good way to gain spikes. We'd really like to be able to spam the skill now. Extracting blink is also a consideration, but um, it's apparent that we need help. Send help. We're going to get 15 health out of here, so we're looking better than it looks, but it looks absolutely terrible. I am... going to take physical power here. Even though it's going to get eaten up. I think we take Orb Thief simply because we can't really afford to do anything else. Then we don't take a Orb on the Blink. So we can take negative one cooldown. Go into that idea, I guess. This is admittedly going to be rough, though. An early shop would be appreciated. I think we have to open with this. I would really prefer not to take that power orb right now. So instead, let's... Blink? Clap. Throw that in there. Oh man, this one's a cluster. Okay.
I think we're going to have to take one orb here. Because I really don't want to take this six damage. Yeah, I don't think that's the move. We're going to do something like this. Okay. Clamp. I think we're going to have to take another orb here because this guy's being mean. Alright. We have survived. Alright, we're officially out. I kind of like Harold's sandals. Spear of the Gods seems interesting, if only to set off our blighted stacks. But I think just, um... Maybe we don't need this. Is Harmonized Whistle just good enough that we don't need Herald Sandals? It also has crit chance though. That's another thing I'm looking at. We're not getting enough crits. Maybe it's Spear of the Gods. I'll go ahead and we'll take that because we're weak. This isn't going to give us anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just take Restore HP. We've got so much Blight on us. Um... Endless Noodle of Duplication. I think we've won. I just need to make sure that we don't die at this point. Um, let's get that Quicken Blink like we planned. If we could get this to the one that actually like deals hit damage now, that'd be pretty funny. Alright, what are we doing here? I kind of like Cultivated Will, especially since we have Will Thief in play. Let's go ahead and take that. Give it negative one cooldown so we can use it more often. Have tons of plants? Maybe. Uh, having a free Iron Clap also seems pretty good. Um, yeah, probably the free Iron Clap. There's a lot we can do with that, including move. All right, um, I think we kind of want a Glyph Globe. Even the blue Og isn't bad. I believe Cultivate can get a Prepare, right? Be pretty cool if it did. I gotta be careful with this guy because he's a rampager. Or 
before I just destroy him. This is actually going to give me more shielding and reduce my cooldowns. Dare I say the build is coming together, especially now that we got a uh, nine crit chance. I think that's about where we want it to be. We don't want to crit too much that we just lose all of our uh, precision stacks. Negative one cooldown, I think, is one of the ones that we were looking for. This gives a critical charge upon pickup. Interesting. Protects us from bad RNG. I think we're going to take the negative one cooldown, though. There's Shell. I'll take it. So now we got, like, this spike setup. I don't think that we need the Carver's Refuge. Um, interesting. Four spike damage and four physical power are technically the same thing. We are technically going to lose all of our physical power, though. So it's probably that we're supposed to grab the spike damage. Yeah, probably. All right. We got our glyphs. Let's get a heroic vault. Interesting. Let's farm a bit of this. That really ain't a lot. It'd be nice if we could get Earthquake in this build. if we did the unthinkable and did something like this that blocks all damage next turn we're going to use unstable brew because now we actually have the spike damage to uh, roll with it and it's dead it's that easy does magic pixel exist though that's the question I don't think it does that's unfortunate so instead, I think we're going to do a little something like this. There we go. Go ahead and hit me, see if I care. I'd really like this guy over here to not be blocking when I do this. Go ahead and get a couple more charges here, and then we're going to go ahead and do this. Which is admittedly going to cause us to take a little bit of damage, but I'm not too concerned because we just hit everything anyways. Alright. 
Or I guess we could just do this. That gives us quite a bit. Uh, move here. Hit everything. Probably just do this again, actually. Because we're at full health. You're going to destroy yourself. Alright. Yep, basically Needle's just winning us the game. Um, <laughs> just, wait, can this give us negative? I guess this technically isn't the same as damage resist. Because that'd be hilarious. Ink Rito is also a hilarious idea. Like, this is interesting. I guess Swindler's Getaway isn't even important for us because of the fact that, um... Like, this amount of, uh, like, DR... Oh, sorry, not the DR. The DR is good. However, the amount of stacks that we're gonna get out of this, uh, 32, um, spiked, isn't actually that important for us. So we'll take the up tier, gladly. Let's get some more crit damage so that we feel good about critting. We are absolutely not taking either of these. Well, we can take Critical Cultivation. That's probably fine. Hmm. Unearth Relic isn't bad. Because we're gaining... We're gaining shield with blink. We're gaining shield with shell. We're not gaining shield with seismic slam, unfortunately. But uh, we gain quite a bit. Is this better than frozen finger? Probably. Go ahead and take that. Hello, I'm dying? Kind of freaking rude, bro. That's pretty good. Can we get this guy over here? I don't think we can. Well then, I guess we're gonna just pretty much uh, phase Lusk, Lusk then. Once again, I am dying. Why do we have so many little lusks? We are going to take our porbs. Oh, here we go. Now we deal damage. Why were we looking to deal damage? Endless needles. That's why we want to deal damage. Or we could warp for more ability power. Hmm. I think we'll go ahead and we'll take blast. The only other consideration here is that we reroll until we get a seismic slam upgrade. Because it might just be a uh, earthquake, which would um, promote us constantly spamming it. Um, I almost actually kind of like that more than just gaining five stacks of spiked every time that we use a uh, teleport. That is not it. Do we care about any of this? Not really. There's Earthquake. I will gladly take uh, Shield Bash, thank you.
Yeah, that seems pretty good. I'm fine with that. Uh, we could have used shell. Pretty sure this is over. Maybe not quite. There we go. Argloff. One stack of evasive would be quite a lot, actually. Do I like that more than Spear of the Gods? I think so. We get our health back, boys. It's like it was made to be. I will take yet another 100 damage on the skill that I'm likely going to repeatedly crit with. Boo. Those are all kind of gross. These are all super gross. Another stack of evasive. I wonder, is acknowledgement of exemption worth it if I just uh, repeatedly battering ram? Get rid of swift hair? Hmm. Seems funny, at least. Earthquake... Headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. I think a second bottled whirlwind is also better than swift hair because we're going up against Argola. But we have enough health and stimulants is apparently broken. I honestly don't think we care. And if we don't get hit, then we're not dealing spike damage to things. So I think that having there's a case where we have too much evasive. So we're going to dink around with this, because we can. And if we get dropped below 14 HP, then the reason we lived is because of the legendary HP. If we kind of want to like hit everything here. Probably should have sent that out there too. This is fine.
and get me out of here. I don't know how much damage I'm taking anymore. It's in amount. Oh dear lord, we're one-shotting them through their DR. Alright. Get me out. Yeah, we're pretty much untouchable. Let's like go out here, pick this up, blink into here. Deal some damage. Dash again. Blink out. We get hit by Argoloth here. We're fine. If anything is going to deal a ton of damage to Argoloth, he's almost dead. Okay, then we're just going to do this. We're good. Stimulants. And needles. Anyways. Glad we pulled ourselves out of that one. Legitimately thought that we were dead in the fight with the two worms so early. I don't even know what we possibly could have done. Probably what we were offered in the Sea of Ink could have made a difference. I also think that taking plus 15 damage on Crush would have went a long way because we took a lot of damage from just not killing enemies. But it worked out, as things usually do when you don't die in book one. Anyways, hopefully the run was uh, entertaining or at least educational. If you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, misplay alerts, be sure to leave that down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys around.